I'm sure that uh, many of you know Wendell's wife, Gail, and I want to recognize the rich life they shared together and extend my sympathy for her loss as well. It's certainly impossible to try to sum up a person's life in just a few minutes, but I hope I can offer some insight into how Wendell was a good and decent man and a father who had great love for his children. Like many of us, my father was influenced by his surroundings and his family. His father was an architect who designed the house they lived in most of their lives. And that early influence guided my father through a rich and rewarding career. Growing up in the small town of Greensburg, Pennsylvania, instilled my father the values of honesty and hard work and his infamous sto stoic character. He was never one to complain or go out of the way to draw attention to himself, yet he became a star athlete a celebrated architect. There is a story that's often told that illustrates the extent that my father would go to keep from complaining. When he was a teenager, he left the house without his mother's permission to go play with some of his friends. In the process of horsing around with his pals, he broke his arm. And after he snuck back into the house, he waited for three whole days until he couldn't stand the pain any longer to tell his mother about his broken arm. And she promptly took him to the emergency room. Now the story is not only an example about my father's stubborn character, but probably also about the fear he had of disobeying his mother. <laughs> But I think it's also a story about strength that served him well later in life when he had to endure the loss of his son, our brother Christopher, almost 20 years ago. Now, there are many instances that I recall my father showing strength for our family. Whether it was braving the cold to help us with our skis and bindings on our weekly skiing outings in the winter in Syracuse, or simply the sheer determination it took to provide for a family of five, my father was suited to meet these challenges because he was highly creative and had a very analytical mind. 
these seemingly opposite characteristics served him well, whether it was designing and building modern furniture for our family on a budget, or figuring out how to pack the station wagon for the road trips we took most summers on vacation to Ocean City, New Jersey. When we were growing up, my father had few interests outside of work and family. His main interest was his family. And we were always brought together for evening meals, holiday celebrations, or simple home projects and chores where we learned from one another about unity and independence, to finding great success as an architect. He found even greater reward in recognizing the accomplishments of others, and especially those of his children and grandchildren. This is one of the many important and indelible lessons I learned from my, my father, a man who led by his example and respected others who did the same. I had the opportunity to share my thoughts with my father in the, day before, in the days before he died. And I was able to tell him I was able to tell him that he had a good long run. That he was able to design buildings that would outlast us all and that the world is a better place because of the things he did 